guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, I am joined here by a very special guest. This is pop sensation, Boxy. <laughs> Boxy Kardashian is in the building, everybody. <laughs> so in today's video, I wanted to do another challenge because during Eurovision and, and all the shenanigans, I haven't been able to really do a challenge and that's why Boxy Tutorials is here, everybody. So in today's video, the challenge is gonna be what's in my box makeup edition. Ashcock Cakes did it about three years ago, and I have to say that what I'm doing today is different, but um, I think she was the first to do it. Now, if I'm wrong, as always, let me know in the comments down below and give the original creator a shout out. So in this challenge today, um, manager Tutorials West will be placing three products in the box and then they're gonna cover my screen so I can't see what's in, because obviously now I can tell, but they're gonna put the products in here and then I have to put my arms in, feel, touch, and then figure out what's inside and then whichever product feels the best is what I'm gonna pick out and that's what I'm gonna use for my look. Except for the eyes, because in today's video, I'm teaming up with Anastasia Beverly Hills. The eyes will have a free pass because I'll be using the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, which is purple, 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 purple galore. I love it. As always, thank you so much, Anastasia Beverly Hills, for teaming up with me. I can't wait to dive into this palette, but before we get to the palette first, let's feel. It's in my box. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around, you can put it in. Turn around. You now you Is it gonna be primer? Uh yes. Not to prime is a crime. Hi. Wait, just let me get my hand in. Oof. She tight. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> this one first. I think I know what this is. This feels like it's a smooth surface. I think that's rare beauty. I think I know this one as well. I think this is Tatcha. I knew it! This is Catrice. Yay! I am so good at this game. Um, Rare Beauty. Can I pull it out? Yay! I was right! All right, the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Um, I think it's really funny how uh, we did a test run before we started filming and Wes gave me a couple of products to just like see how hard it was gonna be for me. And I think it's so funny how I have played with makeup for so long now. I've seen packaging and I felt the packaging that I sort of have this ability now to just feel packaging and know what brand it is and what kind of product it is. Do you have any weird sort of abilities like that? Please comment it down below. And do you think you would be able to identify products by just feeling it? Sorry. Come into my... This feels, has a matte texture. This feels like um, the It Tinted Moisturizer, but you wouldn't give me Tinted Moisturizer. Is this NARS? No, wait! Oh, is this, um, is this Il Maquillage? Yes! This feels like Patrick Star's primer, but like we're not priming. Oh, this is Fenty, right? Okay, this is Fenty, the hydrating one. Is this a primer? I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. Cause I know which one it is. Wait, no, let's challenge myself. I'll go for this one. NARS? For foundation, I have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Mont Blanc Light 2. This is a very matte, super full coverage foundation. I love foundations like this. Um, I usually mix this around with a more luminous foundation to get like the perfect midway, but um, this will have to do. <laughs> so let's go to town, baby. Oh, damn, she's full coverage. Yes, she is full coverage, everybody. Welcome to the stage, Miss Coverage. I barely need any concealer after this. Stunning! What in the world? So it's a squishy tube. Huh? I don't know 
what this is. Oh, wait, hold on. It closes with like a, is this Urban Decay? Yes! Why do these feel the same? <laughs> this feels like LA Girl, but they're smaller. Oh, if it has a brush, I know which one it is. <gasps> Kimchi, yes! I don't know what the other one is. Let's go for this, I don't know what this is. Oh, what a beauty! Okay, it's time for powder. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is not Fenty. Fenty has like the. What in the? Oh, I might know this one. Is ooh. Is it purple? Is this Tatcha? Yes, it's Tatcha. Yes. Let's do this one because I don't know what it is. Jordana Tisha. Oh, a press powder. And powder this is good all right all right all right this is the huda beauty overachiever concealer this one i am going to be totally honest this one i find a bit tricky to work with it is super super full coverage but it is also really really matte i already have a matte base now i'm going to go on top with a matte concealer this can be disastrous and once i've blended in that concealer i'm going in with the jordana tisha um marshmallow powder it's got a a pressed powder on top and a loose powder downstairs. I have never tried this, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, I'm gonna do just the tiniest bit of Huda. See how you blend, girl. Okay, okay, okay. You see how full coverage that is? Oh, she is highlighted. Now this powder is quite peachy, quite pink, and it's definitely darker than the concealer, so Pray for my face. Okay. Oh. <gasps> okay, definitely made it warmer. I mean, it's definitely darker than my concealer, but like once I powder everything, I think that will be all right. I'm taking a bit of the pressed powder. Ooh, that makes it a bit lighter, see? Oh, you know what? The makeup gods looked down on me today and said, today we shall give her a good base. Okay, then let's open up the bottom again and set the entire face. Ooh, this is a pretty powder. It's very finely milled. It, it just really blurs out all the pores. I don't mind this. I like this base today. <laughs> okay, so obviously three pencils. This is the worst. <laughs> oh, she's skinny. She lightweight. Why is this so hard? Matte and skinny. Okay, one of them is Uoma. No, <gasps> no, I don't know. The skinny matte one. <gasps> The skinny matte one is House Laboratories. Yes! I don't know these though. Is this, is this Anastasia? <gasps> I don't know this one. So let's do this one. No, and I was thinking about this, but I thought it didn't have this. So this like ribbly, ribbliness. Oh, oh. I am so happy that I picked the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil for the brows because this is a classic. There's more that I love, but this is one of the good ones. So I'm happy with this. This is gonna be an easy, fun brow day. It is time for eyeshadow. Oh my, could it be? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 5 palette, everybody. It feels like a Norvina palette. So for the eye section, I am gonna be using the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Volume 5 palette. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> That's Lily. This is not Lily. Tati lashes? No? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for this one. Oh my god! Wait, this is my Fianca, and she uh she was a contestant on Glow Up Holland. Glow Up the next Dutch makeup star, which I happen to be the host of. Oh my god, I love that! I am so excited to be dipping into the brand new ABH Nervina Collection Volume 5 palette. I love these palettes so much because they come with 25 professional 
pigments, honey. They are super rich in payoff. I always love the versatility in shades, finishes, and textures. And this is one of my favorite colors. This is A1. This is a pure matte white, and that has been going on my inner corner in so many looks lately. And whenever it is that bright, you can bet your ass that it's A1 from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now the palettes are cruelty free and vegan. And today I just want to create a super soft, not soft, but like soft as in the shape. By the way, these palettes are great for traveling because this mirror is big and you can see everything. Like you could do your outfit in this. But before we dive into the palette, of course, not to prime is a crime and I'm going in with the ABH eye primer. All right, the first color I wanna dip into is B3, that beautiful lilac shade. And we're just gonna pop this on the outer portion of the crease. Like I said, I want this to be soft, but still big and blown out. So no harsh edges for now, for now. Then on the inner corner here, I'm taking B2. That's going all the way here to the front of the brow. Okay, C3, that bright, bright blue toned purple is really screaming my name. So that is going on the outer corner. God. And purple eyeshadows are not easy to make. So the fact that they did an entire palette with just purples and pinks. Whew. On the lid, I'm feeling this gorgeous, unique shade, B1. This is a beautiful frosty wipe with like with a gold duochrome. Love it. That is going right here on that lid. Oh! <laughs> Just like any other Nervina Pro Pigment Palette, this one also has a versatile shade range and finishes for creating soft to artistic looks with a whole lot of dimension. This would be stunning as a intense highlighter as well. You know what? I'm just gonna like pull it up towards the center of my brow bone to give an all like wet, frosty feel all over. Then take in a little bit of B2 to buff in between make that blend a little softer. Of course, that inner corner demands my favorite shade out of the entire palette, which is A1, the pure white. You can absolutely take a look to the next level by popping that bright white on the inner corner. It completely opens up the entire eye. This for hooded eyes, ooh, the lift. See how it like pulls in the eye and it kind of enlarges and stretches everything out? This is a sexy eye. For the lower lash line, I'm first going in with a C3, that bright purple again. This is just such a sexy eye. Like it's almost like a cat eye, but just with shadows only. Oh, I live. Okay, taking B2 again to continue onto the lower lash line. Okay, let's pop these lashes on, do the other eye, and let's find out what's for bronzer. Bronzer time, baby. Oh, I know this one, this is Fenty. You can feel it with the shape, honey. If, if I can push it in, I know which one it is. Anastasia. It's paper. <gasps> Two shades. Is that Juvia's place? I'm trying to feel if there's a logo. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Let's go for this one then. Nah, well, well, cause this is really good. Okay, let's go for this. Who's that? Oh, House Labs! Flash. Who? Ah! <laughs> I hate you. Oh, oh God. Giving me liquids? What in the world? I have no clue. Oh, a powder, thank you. Oh, what is this? Who is, what in the? Ew, I'm touching it! <laughs> I have no clue. This is a stick, this is a liquid, and this is a powder. And just because I hate liquids, I'm gonna go for liquid. Oh, Mitchell! This is the blush in Posy Rosy. Highlighter! Is this, if it, if it doesn't open, it's Halsey because I did a review on it and it, I couldn't open it for 15 minutes. So that's Halsey. What in the, who in the? Options. <gasps> I know this one. Is it Jouer? 
You wait all day, honey, come to mama. For bronzer, the winner is the Heat Spell Bronzer and Highlighter Duo by House Laboratories. And this one is in the color Savannah and Sun. This is a beautiful, soft, bronzy shade if you're pale like me. So let's bronze this complexion up, shall we? Mm -hmm. Now the part I'm genuinely petrified of is the Blursh by Mima Mitchell. I love this product, it's a beautiful product. I just don't like liquid products on top of powder. But hey, it's a challenge. I'm gonna pop the tiniest bit on the brush. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, this works on top of powder? Mitchell? Mama Mitchell has me shiss as shook. The winner for highlighter is Citrine by Jouer. This used to be my all time favorite highlighter back in the day. This is such a stunning, stunning color and it goes with everything, see? Don't be afraid, just pop it in. Is it in? No, it's not. <laughs> Are you in yet? <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, this helps. Okay, so this is a liquid lipstick because um, um, when you close it, it does, look. This is Joseph Colors. <gasps> Bitch, I'm good at this. What is this? Hello? Mom, yes, yes. Yes, they're bullying me at work. Mom, come get me. This is, um, oh, oh, it's Matt and it's, it's Juvia's place. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty, okay. What was this, gloss? La cloche. <laughs> this is Fenty. That's easy. Mark Jacobs. Well, Fenty never heard nobody. Let's do Fenty. For lips, I have the Pure and Barbie lipstick in the color Timeless. And this is this packaging, first of all. I was like, what is going on when I first felt it? This is a, look at that shimmer, that glitter. Wait, where's the glitter? Huh? So once you actually put it on, all the glitter is gone. I mean, it's still a pretty color, but I want that. For gloss, a favorite, a cult classic, just one. The gloss bum, honey. Ooh. Juicy. And this is what the final look looks like after I had all types of makeup put in my box. I love doing this what's in my box makeup edition style challenge, and I think I did it's pretty good. Of course, I can't let you go before I teach you the Dutch word of the day. As for today's Dutch word of the day, of course it has to be for box. Doos. Duh. Oosh. A lot of girls out here in Holland call their female friend Doos. So when you say what's in my dos, you, you know, Figure this one out. <laughs> if you want to get featured in my next video, of course, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day dose down below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you and I can't wait to see you on the next one.